update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this uh, Tuesday, the 5th of April. The Dow is unchanged at 34,922. It's just been all over the show. It had a huge move up to 35,112 and then a big slide down to 34,813. It's now 100 points off the low. But the Fed came out and really put the kibosh or whatever it's called on the on the rally. And we'll see how we end the day. If the Dow is able to hold uh, in this area into early afternoon and you can get some kind of strength back again in, say, the QQQ or the S&P, I think we could close very nicely on the day. But there are just a little too many ifs there. So just let's see if the Dow is down 65 points or more at 2.30 to 3 o'clock, that's going to be a big problem. But if it's actually a little bit positive, that's going to be good. We're looking at the S&P down 16 and 45.65. Both, both are down there. S&P made the requisite Chapman Wave buy mode peak Ds. And now they're taking a bit of a rest. We'll see what happens. I, I'm, I'm talking about Wednesday to Thursday that we need to see another push to the upside, especially in the QQQ, which was doing fantastically until uh, the, and as it closed yesterday, and then it opened weak, got even weaker, and it's down now almost five points at 364.60. Uh, and this is really important. With this, this particular pattern needs speed. So by Thursday, we need to be uh, seeing the 370s tackled um, and, and go higher from there. Looking at the IWM being very weak and still very weak, down two and a half. But it's gold that that is really the issue here because the ever whatever the Fed said, how did it affect all these different areas? Look, gold is now only up. In fact, it's unchanged. It was up earlier. It's just stuck in this range. Crude oil, crude oil is stuck in the range. It's down 71 cents. Spectacular move up, but it's just holding. Where is the dollar? The dollar is on the way to the upper end of its range. There it is. We spoke about rectangle formations. This is the large rectangle formation that also turns into a, 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 an elongated sideways move between 99 and Point forty two and ninety seven seventy and here we are at ninety nine fifteen. It liked whatever the Fed said. Look at the TLT. No, it did not like it at all. It's down two sixty seven and one twenty eight seventy nine, and that means the yields are going higher. I mentioned in my show we, we looked at it. The five year went over the thirty year. The five year T note yield was above the thirty. The market doesn't like that, so it has to take a few days to to digest that. I guess. Stay tuned, Larry Puss of Winter coming up. Great programming all day. Don't forget my uh, webinar coming up for subscription, uh, for my subscribers to my opening call. That's Wednesday a week, the 13th of April on Discord.